We are ready to meet any eventuality. This is the Indian Army Chief's message to China and Pakistan, a compulsive bully and a perpetual nuisance. Two countries that are increasingly colluding and have come to pose the most potent threat to India's national security. I'll start with the compulsive bully, that is China. The Army Chief of India, General Naravne, spoke at length about how Indian forces had to rebalance towards the northern borders in 2020, how they had to be in a, in, on alert rather, in Ladakh throughout the year, last year, and he said that the army is hopeful of a peaceful solution with China this year. But so far, the situation at the border with China is the same as last year. Listen to this. So as the situation in eastern Ladakh is concerned, in the areas which were just mentioned, the situation is the same as was prevailing last year. There has been no change in the status quo. As far as the resolution of the present situation is concerned, we are hoping that, again I will re repeat, that based on the principle of mutual and equal security, we would be able to reach an agreement which would result in disengagement and de-escalation. Disengagement from the friction areas and once this de disengagement has been achieved, then an overall de-escalation and a reduction in the strength of the troops in the forward areas. Then we come to the perpetual nuisance, which is Pakistan. Without mincing words, General Naravne said that Islamabad continues to embrace terrorism as an instrument of state policy. He reiterated India's zero policy of zero tolerance towards terror and said that the Indian Army reserves the right to respond to this threat at a time and place of its choosing. Pakistan continues to embrace terror and terrorism as an instrument of state policy. However, we are very clear that we have zero tolerance for terror and we reserve our right to respond at a time and place of our own choosing and with precision. And this is a clear message that we have sent across. Meanwhile, the Indian External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar addressed the UN Security Council a short while back, and this was the first time that the Foreign Minister made an intervention at the UNSC after New Delhi assumed membership, temporary uh, membership of the United Nations Security Council earlier this month. He participated in an open debate on international cooperation, I'm sorry, <clears throat> in combating terrorism. Without mentioning China, the Foreign Minister of India ripped through the practice of placing blocks and holes on the designation and listing of terrorists. China, as all of you know, thwarted India's bid to list Masood Azhar as an international terrorist for 10 long years before relenting. The foreign minister had this message for Beijing and the council. Tenants double standards in this battle. Terrorists are terrorists. There is no good or bad distinction. Those who propagate this only have an agenda and those who cover up for them are just as culpable. Three, accordingly, we must reform the working methods of the committees dealing with sanctions and counterterrorism. Transparency, accountability, and effectiveness are the need of the day. The practice of placing blocks and holes on listing requests without any rhyme or reason must end. This only erodes our collective credibility. The message is loud and clear. The army chief has said it. The foreign minister has said it. India will remain uncompromising on terror and it will take terror backers like China head on. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.